Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be reviewing this curly U part wig from Unice. In this video, I am going to be unboxing, reviewing the hair. I will also be showing you the easiest installation process, perfect for beginners. Before we start, I want to invite you guys to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you are interested in seeing more hair videos like this one. So if you have watched some of my other hair videos, you may notice that the first thing I like to do is prepare my hair. For this installation process, you're going to start by setting aside the hair that is going to be loose on your U-part wig. So with U-part wigs, it allows for your hair to look more natural as it allows for the top or the crown of your head to actually have your natural hair. So all that I'm doing right now is a semicircle on the crown of my head. I'm just separating all of the hair in that area. And in the front around where the baby hairs are, that's where I'm separating some of the hair that's going to be loose. The easiest way to ensure you are taking the right amount of hair for your parting, just take out your wig and measure it on your head, see where the wig starts and ends, and just create the parting based on that. This is pretty much how the parting should look like. The next step is to put away all of the hair that is loose. All of this hair is going to be underneath the wig. You want to make sure that it lays as flat as possible. What I like to do, just because I don't want to pull my hair too much or damage it, also this is great if you are a beginner. All that you have to do is separate whatever hair is loose into two sections and braid the hair neatly. After you're done braiding, you can add a hairnet just to provide that extra security and tuck away all of the hair that is loose. If you have curly hair like myself, then you may notice that your hair might be a little bit frizzy when you braid it. So adding a hairnet is going to help create a cleaner install and it protects your natural hair. So for this next step, you can actually do this after you install the wig. It might be a little bit easier for some people. I use some curl defining cream from Afro Sheen. This brand is so amazing and it does wonders with my hair. I have frizzy hair and so adding the curl defining cream can really help blend my natural curls with the curls of the wig. Another reason why I love this curl defining cream is because it really does add moisture back into your natural hair. This helps reduce the amount of damage or breakage that your hair may have over time. One thing to keep in mind when using the curl defining cream is that it can be pretty heavy on the curls so a lot of times it can end up pulling down on your curls and they may not become as curly as you would like so make sure that you don't use too much of it it's always best to apply the cream when your hair is damp because it's going to allow for your hair to absorb more of the product without needing to use as much If you feel that your hair is still not retaining any of the moisture, you can go ahead and add one layer of curling foam. Just brush it gently through your hair. Now it is time to open the hair. This is the new packaging that Unice has. Inside the box you will find the hair, a little goodie bag with some presents and a wig cap. So inside the goodie bag for mine I received this really pretty 
white and blue headscarf. The texture is silk, so it's perfect to preserve your curls overnight. You don't need to go ahead and redo the whole process. I also received these pair of lashes. The last thing I received were these hair clips, which are so amazing. You're gonna need them for your install. And lastly, of course, like always, a head cap, which always comes in handy. And here you have the Upart wig. This hair is so, so pretty right out of the box. It is an 18 inch curly hair, so it does have a little bit of shrinkage. My first impression on this hair was that it was very soft. The quality felt really, really nice and smooth. The color is vibrant and very pretty. It does look a bit too uh, perfect, or I would say too wiggy. So you would have to, you have to tease the hair a little bit to make it look more natural. On the head cap, you will find four clips in total surrounding the crown and one towards the back of your crown in the center. On the sides, you will also find two clips, which you can adjust to your liking. And of course, there's one all the way in the bottom of the wig. And lastly, for extra security, there's a clip that you can tie it around the very bottom of the wig to make the hair tighter. The installation part is super easy. Just place the clips wherever you feel it looks most natural. Just make sure that each clip is put in properly and secured. So while I finish with the installation, I wanna share with you guys the pros and cons of this hair. So I wanna start with the cons. The first thing that I've noticed is that the hair does shed. All curly hair tends to shed, even your own natural hair. But this particular hair, because it is processed, it's not actual natural curls, the hair is going to shed a lot more. So just make sure that you deep condition if you decide to buy it. Another thing to keep in mind is that it does have a chemical smell to it. Again, it has been processed. That might be an issue for a lot of people since they don't wanna smell like chemicals. The last thing I wanted to note, it's not a problem of you not but more so something to keep in mind when you're buying curly hair if you don't buy the same exact hair texture as yours it can definitely look like a wig or just be harder to blend my hair is about a 3c texture but my hair is also very frizzy so it took a lot of product for me to blend my natural hair with the wig this is something to keep in mind because it is a little bit more maintenance or just a little bit more work Overall, I will say the wig is so, so beautiful. One of the pros is that the hair is actually really pretty and it's not too thick. This hair looks very natural and it's very light on the head. Another pro is just the head cap. This is by far the best quality U-part wig that I've ever had. The overall head size fits perfectly and it doesn't stand out too much from the back. It looks like a very natural wig. And of course, the major pro about this wig is that you are allowed to do different styles in the front. You are allowed to style it in different ways. You can have your hair on a middle part, a side part, and you are able to do a half up, half down style. Overall, I really like this hair. Just once again, know that it is more maintenance than some of the other U-part wigs. But in the end, the result is really amazing. You get to have this very natural looking hair. I'm going to be linking down below all of the products that I used in this video. They were really helpful in creating this hair transformation. I will also be linking down below some different hair textures for you guys to try so that you can find the best possible wig for you. So this is pretty much the end result. It looks really good, but as you can tell, there is some frizziness going on. And so the wig, it's not going to look perfect, but it definitely looks very natural. The curls came out really nice. And overall, the application process took about 15 minutes. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the hair transformation and the installation process. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.